Okay, there we go. Now I'm bundled up because it is like 20 degrees or colder. Now, here's both my girls. I want to say something. Now, I bring Lisa along because I wanted to take two at once. Never, ever depend on your trained dog to train your younger dog. Around the house is one thing. They correct each other. But when you're out and about, your dog has to listen to you, not the other dog, okay? The other dogs might help you out, but your dog has to be trained and bonded to you. They're not living in the forest in a pack. They're living in a home in the pack, and you are the pack leader of every single dog. I just want to make that clear to people. Do not depend on... Your older dogs can help. They can help. Yes, they can. And they can also make things worse. And you don't know what's going to happen if they see a squirrel and the younger dog goes and then the other ones decide not to listen to you and they all go because they're bonded as a pack and not bonded to you. I just want to make that clear. I've had dogs, more than one dogs, for 43 years. I was nine years old when I got my first dog. And look, like they listen to me. They listen to me talk, they're not, she's whining, yeah, she wants to go, but she's staying here, and she's listening to what I'm saying. Say Nugs, you too. So we're going to try these tables. Nugs been here, she has been the table, she has been Georgie, Georgie's seven, I don't hear this stuff, she's just quiet. This is Nugs' second time here, and Lisa's first time here. Now we're in town limits, so Lisa has to be on the lead. It's icy. Yeah. Hey, Tom, nope, Tom. Good girl, good girl, sit. Practicing recall, very good, very good. What a good job. Lots of praise. Got some high value treat. That's a good girl. Before you try this stuff, you have to make sure your dog is trained. Now mine are trained in the home, in the yard. Trained. Liesl's trained out of the house. Spunky's trained out of the house. They all are, but Nugs isn't. She's the pup. This is all ice. I don't know about this, guys. Yeah. I wasn't watching where I was video. But safety first. You want to make sure your dog has recall before you let them off the leash. Your dog can be the most obedient dog in the world. And you get them outside their atmosphere and they don't come to you. That's just, that's just trouble. That's why I recommend long leads. I don't like the e-collar. I don't know if I'll ever have to use them. My dogs aren't problem dogs, so, I mean, people like them and people are trained for them. You don't need to go to a trainer to, tra to do long leads. Long leads are good, um, very well-known dog. Hey, come. This way. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Let's use them. Elisa's exploring. This is her first time here, but she always checks back with me. Always. Don't you, Elisa? That's such a good girl. Yeah, Nug. They hate them Halties. But that's for their safety, too. If another dog comes, they can't open their mouth all the way wide. And then your dog's not at fault. Some other dog gets hurt. Because you had your dog contained. Enough dogs get bad reps. You just don't want to set them up for failure. Oh, oh, here we go. That must have blew up there. Leave it. Come. It's all right. Come. No. It's all right. Good job. Good. Good job. See? That burn barrel blew over there in the windstorm we had. <laughs> Went from 60 to 20, didn't we? So 
I'm just letting them explore here and checking their recall on them. These two are very bonded. Very bonded. I don't know what these tracks are here. Some for animal. Looks maybe a coyote. Come, Nugs. Good girl. That's a good job. Yeah, now we're in the thing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. There, I got it. It's all right. I got it. And mommy's okay. Now, see, she, she was correcting Nugs there, which Nugs didn't need a correction. To my knowledge, she didn't. Dude, she didn't need a correction. Come, Nugs. I always think it's it's wise to keep your dog within a couple feet of you. Now, there's a one YouTuber. He has a part wolf dogs. They're beautiful. He has beautiful dogs. He's a great breeder. He is eats his dogs raw. He's just fabulous, and uh, he does off-lead with his, but he's been doing it since they were puppies. And he has lots of experience. I used to take mine off-lead, too, when I was younger. But these guys haven't had it since they were puppies. You have to start young. I mean, you can start at any age, but until your dog is trained and you know your dog's trained, you don't let them off these leads. I recall this was all water underneath here when I had the other dogs up. This way, come. Good girl, Liesel. Good girl, Noggy. What a good job. That's a good, good. I didn't put no pressure on here. No, Nugs does, she, she's pulling. Nug, if this is her second time off lead and Nugs is not socialized enough. She's not out of the yard enough. I don't, I know she can be reactive. Not in a mean way, just because she don't know what things are, but she knows what, what whatever that is. Some free animal is walking along here. Yeah. If it's still not around. Come, Nug. That's a good girl. That's a good job. Okay, what a good job. Sit. That's a good sit. What a good sit. That sit. Make a, what a good sit. Good job. Sit. Uh oh, you got burrs on you. Good job, Nugs. Now I got a rubber glove one because I'm touching raw meat. And my phone. Come, Liesel. Oh, she don't have her. I don't know where that goes, and I don't know where well, I'm back there. I'm to ask. That's a good girl. She's always checking with me. Always. Good heel. What a good healer you are. What a good job, Liesel. You do such a good job. What a good job. You do such a good job. Oh. How's that feel, Nug? <laughs> Liesl always, she jumps up, but she doesn't put her feet on me. She always checks on me because of me being, having a kidney disease here. Making sure I'm okay. She likes to smell my breath to make sure everything's okay with me. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good job. And she wants that thing off. <laughs> Wait. Uh. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Such a good girl. Right. I'll stay down. That's a good job. That's just, you guys are so obedient. That's such a good job. Such a good job you do. Sit. Stay. 
stay. Stay. Back down. Stay. I stay. There you go. Good job. You have to be bonded with your dogs, too. They're not going to listen to you if they don't like you. Look at the stuff you got in your collar. You silly girl. Such a silly puppy. Such a silly puppy. Okay, let's go down here. It's 20 degrees. <laughs> yeah, they got layers on. They do too, don't you? Lots of layers. Where are you going, Nugs? Where are you going? Come here. Stop this. <laughs>